Hey there, it's Pat Molson, and nice of you to join me for another video and a live stream, of course, of the Foundation. So let's get going, because we have a lot of work to do. We see a little monastery here, and it's not nearly done, so that's one of the things we'll be working on. As well as, well, just taking care of basically everything. But first, let's see. I think we should do some things about the extraction zones, get them organized. Let's make a big enough residential area free, right here. So that we have room for the monastery to grow. And basically, we just need to make sure that everything keeps running smoothly. Which could well be that we need an extra farm and stuff like that. To make sure that we have a good supply of wheat. Because I think... Yeah, we don't have that much, so that could be one of the things to focus on, although we don't have enough available space at this point. So I think we need to create some space for some weed. Hey, Kevin! All is fine here, this fine summer evening. Finally some dry weather again. It's been quite a bit of rain lately, which is fine, I don't really mind it. Good for the plants, etc., and the farmers needed some rain, but it's nice to see some sunshine again. I hope all is well with you too. How are you today, and what have you been doing? In the meantime, I'm going to continue setting up all these extraction zones and adjusting some of the other things to make sure that... Um, we soon, hopefully, get a bit more space for a free farm. Ooh, our bridge is done. Now, that's really nice. We have a complete bridge now. So we can get across the water. I really like the graphics of the bridge, by the way. And maybe we can get two extra foraging huts here. Let's see. Food, yeah, let's get the forager. One, two. I think we're just going to build four. It's going to take time to build them. Because, uh, well, they're pretty far away. But at least then we have um, the opportunity to get more berries. We still have 250, so a few more wouldn't hurt. Yeah, we do need some extra grain. Hey, Grotje! Nice of you to join us! Cool that you're here already. How are you today? But we also need some extra farmland. If we could get rid of these trees, that will really help. Because this is a nice spot for an extra farm. So that could be interesting. I also noticed that this field is probably a bit big for these farmers. But we'll have to wait and see how they'll do. Hi, Roby! Nice of you to join us. How are you today? And what have you been doing? Alright, so this is running. Let's check. This is all set up, yeah. So first things first, we need an extra wheat farm to get some extra bread. I think we also need an extra baker. Ooh, we need to give people a job, by the way, otherwise we won't get any new ones in. So let's assign jobs so that the um, immigration incentive is as high as possible. But yeah, we might need an extra windmill for now. We can just build it right here. There's no red zone around it, so no issues there. We need an extra bakery just to get the extra bread. We are still busy promoting people every now and then, so we really need those extra pieces of bread. A monk is requesting an audience. Needy times. Ten tools. Alright, so we can get tools. We have plenty of tools now, since we make them ourselves. But which points do we need? Well, we have unlocked everything from the laborers, so we don't need any labor points anymore. This will take 10 monks, so no points needed here. We do need points here, we only have... Yeah, well, we need 10 citizens and 40 kingdom points. So basically, we don't need any of these points. So yeah, I'm keeping it all because we don't need anything. Just on my lunch break from work, hope everyone's having a good one. Well, everything's alright here. 
going really good. I hope you enjoy your lunch. Please enlighten us with what fine goods you have for lunch. And I hope you have a nice day at work. Not too busy, not too stressful. Alright, I think I'm going to set up a farm already right here. Let me check the zone. Alright, this is the zoning, which is good enough. Let's just place two extra farms. They won't be ready for a while, and we still need to get rid of those trees. But at least we can start to work with them then. We can also build this farm right here and get the field on this side, I think. I think that will work as well. We can easily buy this zone since we have plenty of money. Let's set these trees up for extraction just to get rid of all of this so that we can create some extra land. And we just need some extra woodcutters. Um, yeah, we can build one, I guess, here and one um, here. There's one close by already, but that's okay. We just want them to get rid of all those trees first. Really need to get rid of a lot of trees. Ah, four extra villagers. That's nice numbers. Let's get a few miners, get some extra foragers, and an extra stone cutter mine. Alright, so now marble should be coming in very slowly, since we now have two marble miners. Don't forget about our soldiers. We have three wounded, but the rest are up for the mission, especially if it's not that hard. It's an easy mission, so we'll prepare the troops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, fully trained, one mostly trained, one partly trained, but they're really strong. So let's send out the troops. So at least they'll do something useful and bring us in some money or something like that. I think we should just buy a few more zones, since we have all the money for it. And, ooh, we unlock these as well. So we have a lot of berries available to us now. Let's get this zone for the extra iron. This zone and this zone could serve as well for the monastery. Because once the monastery is done, or at least these buildings are done, we need to expand it. And of course it needs a vineyard and stuff like that. It needs a herb garden, we need to build wine production, we need to build apiaries. So still a lot of work to do in the monastery. So we can use all the space for it that we have. This one could probably go. Let's just delete it. We built new lumber camps anyway, so these can just go to another lumber camp. Well, basically, we can prioritize. What I do is just assign all trees to be cut down, and that way I don't really prioritize. But if I would um, not... Um, paint everything blue, but only the trees I want them to cut, they will all go to those trees. So but it's a bit my problem. I just assign all trees all the time and they'll just chop the closest ones. But if I unpaint um, a few zones, then it should be able to, uh, to do that. Ooh, this farm's getting built already. We have one extra free villager, it appears. Oh, this might be the guy the, uh, that... Um, let's check. Yeah, that's just a woodcutter that needs to get a job. Interesting. He'll get a job. Now, as far as I can tell, we have a lot of houses here. But there's no city center here. So, these villagers will all have to walk all the way here to get to some food and stuff so maybe this could be a good spot in the trees of course but that's it to um build a marketplace again in a well so that they don't have to walk that far anymore and if we keep it a little bit away from these businesses it'll be good for the desirability and we can expand this way then let me try Let's see, we need a well. Let's just build a well in here. Build. Let's keep our eyes on this. And then 
Let's zoom in. So that we can see where the well is built. Right here. Alright, let's zoom out now. It's a bit tricky to see, isn't it? Alright, there we can see the well. We'll just have to build this around. One. Two. Three. We need at least four for all four types of food that we have. And we need a good stall. At least one, and then later on we can get more. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, that's the start. That'll be an extra city center, so that they don't have to walk that far. That saves a lot of time, and that will do us good. Let's get two extra woodcutters. So, have any of you been doing anything other than work lately? Some nice hobby you want to share about? Curious what everybody does in their spare time, besides watching a nice stream, of course. Alright, this farm is slowly coming along. This one also. That's good. Immigration incentive still high. Ah, this farm is done. Alright, let's paint the crop field. We can start it back here, that's no problem. And then we'll do it in the tree area. And as soon as the trees are gone, they can really use that area to the full. But we don't even have the people for it now, so nothing to worry about. This is just fine. And then hopefully this get finished soon and we can set this area up as well. At least they're trying to get rid of those trees and it's working, so that's good. I was very excited to Miss Marvel episode 1 today. She's my favorite superhero. How would I recommend to chat? Okay, well, I haven't watched it. Is that... Um, I know that the... the mm, I don't know how you say it, The old Marvel University somehow ended with one of those movies. You know, the Thor and Iron Man and stuff. Yeah, that, that movie like Endgame or something that ended it, I believe. And this this is the whole new start of, of superheroes, or how does it work? I'm always totally lost with all the superhero and stuff like that because there's all these different movie makers that make different bands of superheroes, etc. Oh, my wife's really into those things, so. Um, I will always score points if I suggest that we watch one of those at an evening, so I'm going to keep this in mind. Greenhouse, that's nice. You have your own greenhouse. I wish I had that. I only have three chickens in the backyard because it's not that big. And I grow a few vegetables, but that's not a lot. Really want to build... To, not to build, well, want to buy an abandoned farm when I'm about to retire. Somewhere in a peaceful part of the country and then grow a lot of our own stuff and have fun in it while being retired. Still have a long way to go though, so that ain't happening soon. Alright, four new villagers, that's nice. Need to keep playing the game of course. Alright, let's get three people into the farming business and another one. Well, Grats, it's good that you like it for now. Hopefully, at a certain point, you're ready and something comes along that you'll enjoy doing again. So old I remember Adam West as Batman. <laughs> well, I remember him because at a certain point, I believe he, he was in that... Um, oh, what was it? My wife's always watched that. Yeah, that sitcom. He came in. Oh, those four nerdy guys, I don't remember the name. But my wife always watched that, and then I saw him sitting in there, and he was telling them he was Batman, and they had a discussion about it or something like that. But I'm not that old that I watched that myself. Adam West is Batman. Or maybe I am that old, I just missed it, I don't know. Alright, so this is all set up, and our monastery is getting 
further and further. That's really nice. Ooh, and I like the entrance. So that's cool. Hi, the quantum guy. Well, yeah, this is not Ostrif, although... Um, well, graphic-wise, not, but game-wise, they are pretty alike. And they're both really fun, so yeah. Can get the confusion. But this is not Ostrif. Ooh, here we have the herb card. Cool, I need to build that one, by the way. Because if we get the herb garden, our soldier's recovery speed is increased by two. I believe this had to be built near the water. At least that was the um the old official thing was that you had to build it near water, and then your soldiers would heal faster. Oh, that's great, Gratje. Oh yeah, let's bring our soldiers back. Cool that you can uh, finally get on your bike again. Please be careful then, so you don't get in an accident again. <laughs> well, that's probably the reason why we have separate bike lanes in the Netherlands. So that he can ride his bike without hurting any cars. Waiting for the builder. The abbey. What should we do in the abbey? We can make it dorms or a great hall. We already have a great hall. So let's make this dorms so that we can assign monks to the monastery. And then once we have a vineyard and stuff like that, the monks can go there. But for now, I believe, yeah, we have plenty of jobs to fill. So that's not going to happen right now. But as soon as we run out of jobs, we can assign people to the monastery. Alright, I'm totally lost. Where am I? Right here. Yeah, there it is. I was looking for this spot because I want to set the marketplace up. So let's see. Berries. Bread, fish, and cheese. Oh, no cheese yet. They're, they're still building that piece of the market stall. Alright, one, two, three people in because we had three new people. So now they'll start selling stuff here and these people can just take a small walk to get their stuff. That's really nice. So how are you, the quantum guy? And what have you been doing today? Alright, we got money, bread, some tools from this mission. That's really nice. Let's see how our soldiers are doing. Are they still a bit fine or... No, we still have three wounded. So we could send them out on the mission again. But I'm going to wait until a few more are fully trained. <laughs> Keep death of the road right to pavements. Well, it is a solution. I'm not sure if it's the solution. But yeah, it should work. Alright, let's paint some residential areas around here, because, well, with that marketplace in place, people should want to live near. So we can do it like this. This appears good. Bakery built. Ah, that's nice. Now we need a baker. And, well, the swell is pretty close by, so that shouldn't be an issue. Bailiff is ready for a mandate. Yeah, we can get influence, but I don't really know why we should get influence. But I don't want our bailiff to just sit around and do nothing, so we'll send him out. But um, have you been playing Ostriff a lot, uh, the quantum guy? I did a few streams on Ostriff and a lot of videos on my channel. Alright, let's see. Is this an easy mission? Yeah, this is an easy mission. They're still all partly trained, so let's me think about it. I think if we go to the keep, where's my keep? Here's my keep. We can see the medicinal garden masterpiece. Yeah. Oh, this is the lush garden masterpiece. Must be part of the building containing the great hall. All right, so that's not going to work for us. Fountain sculpture masterpiece. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so if we build a nice garden, That should work out. There's no real conditions, and soldier recovery speed is increased by two. So I'm going to build that garden soon. Just not sure where. Maybe we should build it near the monastery. I think I would like that. We could build a nice garden in front of the monastery. That could be a thing. Alright, let's try. Can we find the same pieces in here or not? 
herb garden. Yeah, that's all fine. Yeah, here it is. Let's build the uh, medicinal garden masterpiece. I think we should start with a little entrance to that garden. And then we should fence it off, of course. Let's zoom in a bit so we can clearly see what we're doing. Two. Three. Four. Four to each side, I think. I think that's a good width. One. Two. Three. Four. Hi, Instincts! Nice of you to join us here. Great to see you again. Right, let's see. One, two, three, four. How big should it be? I think this is big enough. We can do like one part on this side, one part on this side. So we'll do four here as well. One. Let's make sure that things interlock a bit. Two. Three. Four. Okay, what do you guys think? Should four be wide enough? Just close it off and do another exit? Or should I make it bigger? Just let us know. Hi, AJ Jones. Thank you very much for your nice donation. That's really great. I'm humbled by it. Thanks. You are by far the best Ostrich YouTuber. Oh, whoa, that's really nice. Thank you so much. Watching your Ostrich series to try and forget the sunburn weather that I currently live in. Ooh, where are you from, um, the quantum guy? That It's so hot. We had a lot of rain last lately here. So, um... Well, today, the end, the day's end was nice. Alright, let's do it four, because Kevin says so, and Kevin's boss, of course. Kevin always knows best, so we'll just do what he says. I think I'm going to use this little exit from this side, then. This is the main road entrance, and this will be a little exit from this side. Have to see how we can fit it in, though. So let's continue a bit from this side. One... Two, three, four. All right. Yeah, so we need to move an extra fence in here. I don't know if that looks really nice, but... Hmm. Can we fix it another way? Maybe I can squeeze in a plant here. Yeah, that we can do. Let's squeeze these in. This should close it off. Yeah, all right. So we have two entrances. So that's nice. Eight. AJ Jones, thank you so much! How did I deserve that? That's really awesome, thank you. Oh wow. Um, I don't know, really know what to say right now. Thanks. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Alexandria. Oh, that's Egypt. Yeah, well, I hope you didn't get too much sunburn, because that's pretty unhealthy, I was told. I'm, um, well, don't get this wrong, but I'm a pretty sensitive guy. That means that I am very sensitive to sounds and stuff like that, but also to light. So when the sun is out, I um, wear my sunglasses all the time, and I um, don't really get in the sun when it's at its hottest, or at least I wear long sleeves and stuff like that. And last time I had to be checked by a dermatologist in the middle of summer, and it was quite hot in Holland. And she um, complimented me because my skin was so normally white and not colored by the sun. And she said that was one of the most healthy things I could do to myself, so I was pretty proud of that. Alright, let's make this like this and we can put the fountain in the middle here as a sort of some sort of resting place and should make a little bit differences between the two as well something like this and then one here and one here oh we should do this one yeah Right, this looks like a really nice garden, I think, so let's try and build it. And then maybe from the decorations... Is there any bench? No, there's no bench. Well, we can post a sign here, telling them to go into the um, fountain masterpiece. That's nice. Is 
Thanks, AJ. I, I really do. Oh my god. I'm not often lost for words, but it's going pretty quickly now. I got no clue what I have to say now other than just thank you. That's true, Groot. That's true. I'm totally shy. I mean, it's not too warm in my room, but right now it's like it's 40 degrees here. I might even get some sunburn without the sun shining here. Because I'm just giving light myself. Ooh, look at all these people working, by the way. I'm just going to distract everyone from this so I can just continue. So they're really working on this masterpiece. That's nice. And, ooh, this looks good as well. Well, that's all working, and we breached the 300 people in our village, so that's really nice. All trees are almost gone here, that's excellent. We do get some extra wheat, so that's working out. I think we should put the um, miller and the baker to work soon, so that they can contribute as well. But I'll keep up the uh, making this content, uh, AJ, really, thank you. I'm doing the best I can, and apparently it's working out. Alright, so nobody is building these, so I guess these are too far away from any builder. So let's see if we build a building office here. They can probably go there. Oh yeah, I only have to sit in the sun like 10 minutes when it's around noon and I'm just totally burned. So I don't get in the sun or I wear a hat and sunglasses and a lot of sunblock. Although lately I was told... <laughs> well, you have a great day, um, Roby. Thanks for joining us here and being here while you had lunch break. Enjoy your work. Hope to see you some other time. Thanks for all your uh, loyal support. Which I get from most of you in chat, by the way. Really thankful for that. Right, this is our Lord Manor piece. I think let's check the estates. Because if we check the estates, we can see that we have a lot of labor points, but not too many kingdom points. And I believe that our Lord Manor counts for... No, king. we need um, we need a bigger keep for kingdom points. So I think we should build another fortress. I think that's accurate too. We have one fortress here defending us from the sea. So maybe, let's zoom out. We should build a fortress somewhere here. To defend us from, well, some other enemy that will never come. But it's just nice to have an extra fortress. All this truly fascinating effect because it's just this impressive. Thanks. Yeah, it is. Well, I I think it depends very much on where you live. So, I mean, we live in a almost totally flat country, so we're very impressed with mountains. And I've spoken to a Swiss guy that was really impressed with our flat land. So. Oh, we already sink, don't worry about it. We'll just build bigger dikes. Let's check this. Ooh, we can get a trade bonus. Let's get that, and let's see. Still three wounded soldiers. That's not really going fast. Well, Gratje, that's not completely true. A lot of people here are the masters of water, but you're the master of beer. So, don't claim the water as well now. You were the beer master. Well, let's start thinking about the monastery, because this piece is almost done. Well... <laughs> yeah, well, Alex Alexandria is at risk too. 
Although I think people in countries like Bangladesh and stuff should worry way more than we should. Um, we're pretty safe in Holland and we'll be safe for a while. I've read a while ago that when Greenland completely melts, sea levels will rise by like 8 or 9 meters. But before that happens, if it ever happens, um, it will take like 700 years. So I'm not really worried about it. Thanks, AJ. Really nice you were here. Thanks a lot. Tomorrow, the next uh, Ostrif update, or the next Ostrif video will come live. 6 p.m. Central European time. I hope you'll enjoy it. And thanks a lot for your support and your contribution. Every single cent of it will go straight back into this channel. Since I got into the partner program, my estimate revenue is like 20 euros. So you doubled that just this night. Thanks a lot. It's awesome. I don't. I probably don't sound really enthusiastic, but it's just because I'm just thinking about the right words to say to someone who has made me so thankful. All right. So I, I'm thinking about the monastery, and I think we should do one of these. Um, Oyster center pieces around it. A um, bit what we did last time. So it'll be something like um, let's just make a row of it like this. Get the uh, corner piece here, so like this. So that we really close off the monastery with a wall of these. And maybe a few buildings in between at certain points. I'll just wait a bit with it so you guys can respond to it and s let me know what you think. But I think that'll be nice. And then from the outside we can put in the herb garden and the vineyard and etc. So just let me know. Yeah, well, uh, in tomorrow's video was already um, recorded, so um, there will be no pigs in that. But I've written it down here and well, I have two very busy days with a lot of funerals to do. Um, but probably Saturday or Sunday I'll make new recordings for next week. And there will be the Ostrif one. And then I'll try to incorporate the pigs. And they should be in that episode. So next week it should really be in. Thank you so much AJ. See you next time. Alright, while well, you guys think about what to do with the monastery, I'm just going to take a quick look around the village. Ooh, look at this garden! I think it's awesome. I don't know if it counts towards the... Um yeah, it should count. Cool, because it says right here. So our soldiers should be healed pretty quickly now, and we can see there's only one more wounded now. Well, in Ostrif, pigs don't really rule because they eat a lot, they're very costly, and they don't give you that much back. But it's fun, and since we have a prospering town anyway, we can just get them in. So I'll get them because they're really nice, and I like pigs, but they're not really worth it if you look at it from the economic standpoint of the game. But, well, maybe that will f get fixed someday. Alright, let's set this up, by the way. Let's get more dorms. I think we can house a lot of monks in here right now if we want to. Pigs' <laughs> lives matter. Well, let's just say that everybody's lives matter, and as a, as humans, I think we can still do a lot to make things better. Right, there's a door in there on this one. There's no door in this one, so um, I'm just going ahead. Now, I'm thinking not to make this too big, because otherwise it will just take too long to build. So we'll just do it like this. Get two more pieces like this. Is this high enough? I think so, but we'll have to just get it around and then see if it's still high enough. And maybe add a little building in the middle. Or maybe that just ruins it. I think that just ruins it. So maybe we should put one more like this in here. Then we will put this one on. 
Yeah, I think we have to raise them a bit higher because they're pretty deep now. That's not going to work. One, two, three. All right. Can I select them all? Yeah. All right. Um, I don't want to move them. I just want to raise them. Can I raise them? Not really. Apparently, I can only move them. Alright, let's move this piece and now try and raise it. Come on, why can't I raise this piece? Alright, well, we'll keep it like this then, apparently. Oh, I can turn it. That's cool. Although that's not what I wanted. I wanted to raise it. Yeah, now it's gone. Let me try and build just one. Alright, so these parts can't be raised. Maybe we should start here then. Hmm. Sorry guys, this is going to take a little while. I'm going to build it back. Which it calls these days. I'm going to build back better. So here we are. One, two, three. Alright. Maybe we should do the... Um, Oh, you can always make fun. No problem with that. Alright, let's do this side as well. And then that also gives us time to think about how we want to exactly do this. One, two, three. So yeah, there should be the one with the door here right now. This piece is really coming up. So, Alright, this should be sufficient for now. Let's start building this. So at least we have these pieces. That works. Let's go speed 3 for a little while so that we can... Ooh, there's our needy times. 10 tools. Oh, we have plenty of tools. We'll give tools for the people. Everything for the people. Alright, let's deliver them. That's fine. We have 4 people available. What can we do? 1, 2, 3. And 1 miner. Nice. Yeah, we finally get extra bread. So the bakers and the extra miller are doing that job. That's really good. We are out of weed again, but we'll soon get a new harvest. But the numbers of bread is raising again, so that's good. Number of clothing is raising, so basically we have everything under control for now. Maybe later on we'll need to do a little bit more, but for now this is good. Let's see about an extra keep. Where should we build it? can build it on the island maybe, but yeah, no, that's not what I want. I think this will be a good spot, because this is the outgoing path. So if we build a keep around the path with two gates in it, that might look nice. Alright, we need to do some promotions, by the way. We have plenty of money for it, so let's promote five of these, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Then we'll do one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And, ooh, can we promote soldiers? No. All right. Eight, nine, ten. We have a few pissed off people. They're all foragers. And they're probably unable to get to food. Hmm. These can get to food. These can get to some food because that's close by. Although we should set this one up. Or cheese, yeah. These ones should be able to get food, so probably these aren't able to get to food. Oh, we were building another city center here as well. Totally forgot about it. Let's do that, then. Right, we're going to do this one slightly different. We'll make this, like, two straight rows. One, two, three. We have to do it a little bit different every now and then. One. We're going to do two good stalls already, I think. Too far. Oh, we'll have to move this little pin then. Alright. Um, let's do it differently because this didn't, wo this didn't work. Put the pin a bit too far away. Let's put the pin in the middle. Now it should work. So th this little pin decides when you're close or not. So just make sure you put it in the middle of where you're building so that... 
it won't complain if you go to this side. No, it does complain a little bit still. One. Two. Now let's move this one. And now it works as well. Though this is the wrong one. We needed to do a good stall here. Alright, let's decorate them. One. This is two. And three. And four. And five. And six. Built. Alright. Well, I, I understand why your nickname is Roadhog then, yeah. Makes sense. And it suits you, I guess. One, two, three, four. All right, everybody has a job, but we're completely out of jobs at this point, although a lot of new jobs are being built, so that's good. And of course, we can always concede a few to the monastery. And, ooh, they're really busy building this section now. There's a lot of poles standing up, that's good. But they can finish it quickly. And of course, we can always get extra soldiers. How are our soldiers doing? Everybody's ready. Only one needs to train. Let's go on a quest. Ooh, this is a difficult quest. Let's try it. Let's try it. Prepare our troops. We'll send everybody out. Alright, let's send the troops. There they go. A difficult quest. That's interesting. Right. Grains being brought in. We have beer, we have boar, we have meals. All looks good. We could use some extra iron, though. We do have plenty of iron ore and coal, so maybe we should get another iron melter. That might do the trick. So it never hurts to check these kind of things and just build an extra iron melter if you just ne think you need one. We'll have We have free people anyway, so we can just put them to good use. How's your population? Well, 321. We have still 59 newcomers. Now, of course, promoting your newcomers is always a good thing because then they'll get a house and they'll pay some extra taxes. But you need, well, a lot of serfs, of course, because they're pretty cheap. They don't eat that much and they'll do all the manual labor and then slowly grow the commoners and citizens. We can get a few extra citizens soon, I think, especially with the monastery done because then we can get wine and stuff like that. And those luxury goods is what they need. So that'll work out. But I'm pretty happy with the uh, population. We already have three soldiers. And I hope to promote a few more novices soon. That should help out as well. Everybody's pretty happy. A few of them can't reach water. But we are trying to fix that. By making sure that they um, have a marketplace close by. And that should soon be finished. So I'm pretty happy. Immigration incentive is still high. I hope there's not too many right-wing people watching because they'll probably hate the fact that my immigration incentive is high and that I'm aiming on immigrants. But that's it for now, especially with this game. We'll have to get immigrants in. Very sorry about that. Yeah, some people have no access to luxury, so we need some luxury goods, which could either be wine or something like that. But we could also try and get some candles. We need wax from it, and that will come from the um, AP area, I believe. So we'll have to take a look at that soon. So I have to say, I'm pretty happy that um, the chat calmed down a bit. I'm still pretty um, warm from all the nice... Um, Outbursts of money that I got. Ooh, that was really something. Really wasn't expecting that. It's really awesome though. I can really use it, of course, for the channel, but yeah. A bit flabbergasted by it. So what tell us what do you do what do you grow in your greenhouse? I'm curious to know more about your greenhouse. Right, so we have that plenty of iron and coal. So I really want that building to be done. People in the iron melter. We can really use that extra iron, so let's 
prioritize it because they're all probably working on the monastery because that's close by. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Difficult mission. Success probability extreme. Let's check. Did a lot of them get wounded or not? Nobody got wounded. All right. I'll keep my troops with you. No problem. So they're really making good works on the uh, monastery here. Like it. It's really a great place. Oh, and they're still finishing something here. Interesting. Tomatoes, lettuce, onions, beans and peas, cucumber, normal stuff. Well, that's... It's it's really amazing. I had some beans in my garden last year. I have some tomatoes now. I don't know the um, English word for it, but they look like cucumbers, but they're not. I don't know. We call them uh, courgette. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, well, there, that's also the English name. Yeah, I have two courgette plants. They're really small, and I usually just pick them off pretty quickly so the plant grows a bit more, and then later on I'll let them grow to get like 10, 15 centimeters. But in my experience, if you let them grow bigger, there will be a loss in taste. So I don't let them get too big. And just eat them. Well, not raw, we'll prepare them, but... Bigger a courgette gets... The less tasty it is, in my opinion. At least after like 10, 15 centimeters. But that's nice. And in how much, I mean, how big a numbers do you do you grow? Can you like grow a lot of stuff and then and eat from it yourself all the time? Or do you um, share it with others? Or are just very small amounts and you can't um, help the clergy this time because we're nice? I'm really curious. I really want a greenhouse in my garden later when we moved at a certain point, like 20 years from now. It just sounds amazing. I think, by the way, that we should finish, or well not finish, but expand our little garden. A bit more, our little fence here. Ooh, charge. Success probability is still extreme, but it is an extremely difficult mission. We have only two wounded, so we could do it. And we have an 80% chance of getting a weapon, a 100% chance of a rare reward. So we should be able to finish this well. So let's just charge, let's finish this mission. All right, let's finish this fence all the way up to this house. I think that's nice. And then the house will serve as a bit of a fence as well. It's just like this. Not too many because we're running a little bit lower on tools because of all the um, ooh, promotions available again. Let's just do a lot of these. They'll build a few extra houses. That's enough for now. Yeah, that's totally my experience that some years you just look at them and, and they appear to be growing and another year you put a lot of effort in it and everything seems to be fine and then... The whole garden won't just work or something like that. I don't know how that works. I save money to buy a house in the countryside too, to have a garden, independence, water source, and electricity before the wars, you know. Well, I'm not really doing it before the wars and stuff like that. I'm um, not really concerned about those things. I just, I just like to grow my own stuff and have some fun. It's just fun to do, being outdoors in the garden. And, well, of course, when there's not too much sun. That's basically it. But everybody is um, free to uh, to do things the way they want. But yeah, I would really like to live in a more quiet place than right here in the center of town. Busy places aren't really my thing. Well, um, a few years ago... I never did anything in the garden, and I don't really have green fingers. But there's a lot you can learn, you know? Just read a book, Google something, and just try it. I've made a mistake a while ago by starting in March with my 
indoors growing some beans and then by the time they were really big and I had to really get those outside it was still too cold but you just learn from it I just like to to be in the garden and do stuff there and I'm, I don't really have green fingers but I'm at a point where even my mother-in-law when they go on a holiday brings their plants to me because then she's sure they'll survive well Oh, home brewing, that's cool as well. I know somebody who does that. That's really nice. He actually makes some really nice beers. Well, at least I've been told. I mean, I don't drink, but they look really good. And from what I've heard, they taste really good as well. Although it takes quite some time to brew a beer, I believe. No villagers came in. Yeah, we have a very low, un low employment. Although a lot of jobs should be coming in, so... <laughs> well, maybe then you can grow your own weed and your own hops, etc. And then you can um, have fun brewing beer with your own produced goods. That will be excellent. Alright, let's check our soldiers. Three wounded. Oh, we can live with that. I didn't see... Uh, I think they'll still have to come in and show us their wares. There they are. Alright, we got spears. I believe spears are stronger than swords, so let's give them spears. And a lot of money. That really is a lot of money. Let's buy a few extra zones. Yeah, let's get this zone and then start building a um, keep there soon. Alright, let's check our soldiers first, because now we can see the difference. We can see this soldier now has strength 14. If we give him the spear, it goes to 20, so that's really good. So I'm going to give my strongest soldiers a spear. Look at this, this soldier, level 10, strength 28, and if, if I give him a spear, it immediately jumps to 40, so he gets way stronger. I like that a lot. That's really good. So, doing those dangerous missions is a really good thing if you want to get better soldiers. Well, we won't be sending out the soldiers now. We'll let them heal for a little while. But after that, they can go out again. At this point, it's time to build another keep. Let's do it around this place. So we can build some sort of an entrance here. And then, let's see, what can we build? All right, there's not too many options, I think. A small porch. Yeah, that, that, that doesn't really... Well, maybe we can use this as an entrance. I don't think the wooden gate really looks like an entrance. This looks a bit more like an entrance. No, it doesn't. Hmm. Alright, so this should be the entrance. I guess. Then we need buildings attached to it on both sides. Should we do stone extensions or wood? I think this, since this is medieval times, I think we should do wood. Any difference? Yeah, we'll do it like this. I'm going to get rid of that road anyway, so let's just build it like this on this side. And one on this side. Let's rotate the camera a bit so I can see. Alright, let's see. Does it fit? Yeah, this looks good, I think. And we should probably make it four wide then. What do you guys think? I think this is a good width. Let's raise the buildings a bit so that... They're just a little bigger. Yeah, this one should come down one. Yeah, something like this. The taxman will want his cut. He'll just drink his cut. That might be better. Hi, Dana! Nice of you to join us! Oh, you have to actually have to work today. Well, I hope you uh, have a nice day working and you enjoy it, so... But very nice of you to join us. I'm going to move this up, by the way, because I want a big tower next to the gate. I think that should be um, a good thing. So let's move this up as well. We'll just get rid of this. Let's first build a big tower next to the gate. But nice of you to join us. How are you today? I hope everything is fine. Alright, let's see. 
This is one piece. Yeah, I think this is what I want. A big gate next to the uh, entrance so that the entrance is well defended. And then we'll do it like this. Should we put this roof on it? This is not the standard roof. I think I like this one. Yeah, this looks good. And then we can attach these to it. On both sides, one. Oh, great to hear that everything is wonderful. Really happy about that. Alright, this should this should do the trick for now. Then we need to get into these buildings, of course. Should we build a big stairs here? I think so, although this isn't the right one because we'll end up on the roof on the road. So this one can have a high stairs and this one will have a low in entrance then. Ooh, we got twelve villagers in. We really need to give them some jobs. Right, let's click this food stall so we can set up this market. It needs to sell fish and cheese and maybe clothing. We don't have candles or common wares yet, but we'll get those soon. At least everything is sold now and we only have six villagers available. Alright, so this is a start for the keep. So we'll start building this and then later on we can expand this. And that also means that right now we can go back to the monastery, see if there's some more work we can do there. Maybe they got close to finishing the parts that we added. I did put the monastery in the stream name, so I guess we really have to go there and check it out. Ooh, we can see that they really got rid of a few trees here. Ooh, here as well. Very good. Nope, I don't get in trouble with people that really love trees because I destroy all the trees in this game. It's not personal, it's just a game thing. Right, let's get rid of all the trees here as well. Alright, that worked out and ooh, wow, the monastery really got built further. Alright, so we have the main entrance here, we have a side entrance here that you can't see because it's buried in the hill, and we have a side entrance here that you, well, basically can't reach because it's up there, but that's okay. Maybe we should leave the back open, but that doesn't really feel good. I think we should really close off the back as well, but how? That's the big question, of course. The only real buildings we have is this. Or, yeah, these galleries. Oh, we have this one as well. How does it look? Oh, this might be... Ah, we can do... All right, question. Should I do a gate on this side, or should we just close it off completely? That's basically the question for now. And once I know the answer, I will um, finish it off close it off and then we can start working on the herb garden and the vineyard because we can sell those projects as luxury goods which would be really nice mandatory parts are missing there's no mandatory parts missing we have everything can't we pay for the upfront cost how many does it cost doesn't say anywhere. Hmm. Oh, we can't build it because we didn't add anything. Gate for access. Just one gate, I should say. Yeah, I'm a little bit... Un one gate will make it easier, of course, for the monks to check who's coming in and not. So that I think in a real monastery you would have one gate, a real gate, and then only the side entrances. Where they, in real life, just put in a door so that you can only open it from the inside or something like that. So I think we should close it off. I'll just I'll just try closing it off and see how it looks. I think it should be a little bit bigger then, if we really close it off. So add one more piece on each side, and then try and close it off and see how that works out. Maybe we can do the one with this little door in here. 
so that... Ooh. Apparently somewhere we can also build this tower in here, maybe. Something like this. So we just have an extra tower. And we can put a little door in there. On there, I have to say. No, we can't. Oh, we can build the door. There's just no way of getting in. All right. What do you guys think about this? Just another big tower. Maybe it should be slightly bigger than the church tower, because, of course, they would want the church tower to be the biggest. I don't think the monks would agree to the entrance tower being bigger than this monastery church tower. But this could do the trick, and now... All right, let's do this. Let's send them out on a military mission. Um, yeah, let's help out the king, prepare the troops. Everybody's fully trained. So you can see that the medicinal garden really works to help speed up the healing of wounded soldiers. So if you can build this little piece, just build it because it really works. Hi, Nernins! Yes, it does look a bit like a lighthouse, that's true. But I guess we could say that um, in the time that this game plays, monks were considered something of a little light in the world for those looking for God, so... I guess it suits it a little bit, but yeah. Well, I think this is the best option that we have at this point. Fun fact, we have a tower named Baldwin in our city castle. It's named on Baldwin from Flanders, who was thrown down on the cliffs from there. Well, that's not really a nice way to end, but yeah. <laughs> nice that you have a tower named Baldwin. Alright, so they're going to finish this now. That's nice. That gives us time to check the... Um ah, they're also working on the second keep now in the entrance here. This looks nice. Yeah, I think with the towers it'll look a bit better. We now get a real entrance into the city. That's nice. Everybody just had to pass there. Still nine people without a job. And still a few things that need to be finished where nobody goes. Problem could be that they can't use the bridge. I have seen that bug before. Where you build the bridge and they just won't use it. Ooh, bad weather is coming. Oh, we can deal with it. So maybe we should build another bridge. See if that works out. If it helps, that could just be the thing. It just didn't work out and they can't get across. Let's keep it a bit short. 275 planks. Alright, just build it. We'll see. He deserved it, Crusaders, you know. Alright, well, if you say so. Just really happy I'm not a judge or something like that, so I have to, don't have to judge those things, whether people deserve something or not. It's a pretty big monastery. I think we should have changed this building around, have the tower in front. But, well, can't really change it now, but I think I would do that next time. Put this one in front. Right here. Well, that is what it is. The bailiff is ready for a mandate. Well, we'll just keep sending him out. I don't really care. So, we have space here for the vineyard. We can maybe do a herb garden on this side. Get some apiaries here so that the, we get a really productive area. And with all these people available to us, we can also concede a few monks, maybe. Now, it's good to know if you concede monks and you have free villagers, only those that... Um, the status of being a man can be a monk so no women allowed as monks so sometimes it says up here that you have like five or six villagers that don't have an, a job and you can't concede any to the monastery then that's because they're women all right well let's see because now that they get here we have to give them a certain job. Ooh, difficulty, success probability extreme again. 
How did our soldiers do? Only two got wounded. All right, let's keep my troops with you. That's fine. So we don't have jobs for the monks yet, but we'll get that soon as we start working on the vineyard, etc. Looking forward to that. So, Dana, are you still there? Or are you just dropping in and saying goodbye again? <laughs> Well, at least it was really nice that you were here. Just curious to know what you all have to do uh, at this point for work. So how are you, Nernins? You have any uh, experience with Foundation? Have any tips for me? 373. Services, water, goods, comfort. A few lack comfort, so it might be a good time to see if we can expand a few residential zones, especially around this one. There can be more houses here, if we really want to, without a problem. Plenty of room here. There's no people working here except these, and they can still get a job, get a house, so that's fine. We could build some extra housing here, around the village center. That might help out with these people to give them access to comfort in a house. So let's just set this all up. Maybe we should get a church here somewhere. This is now a um, little residential area. Church might do well here. So, um, oh, you're well... Stained glass broke your foundation village. Ooh, yeah, I don't have stained glass yet. I just have some normal glass. So how did it break your village? Very curious. All right, did we run out of... No, we still have plenty. All right, so they should just be able to get it and then get to work. Don't we? Oh, we have 90 iron available now. So... Right, how did... Ooh, one, two, three, five, six wounded. Let's bring our soldiers back. All right, let's go to the goods production. If we get a common ware shop, we need one, two, one planks and one iron. And we have all of those, so we can start to produce some common wares. We can sell those in the market for luxury goods. Which is really nice. So yeah, let's build it right here. Because some of our um, good citizens require those, of course. Luxury goods. I think we should build that one. No, we should build this one for common wares. Here we go. Let's give it a little top. Let's build it. Just one here in the city center, because this is where all the citizens live. It came in an update. One day my cathedral had a rose window. The next day it was considered incomplete. Something about the production chain. Ooh, that's that's not nice. Well, th those things happen sometimes when there's a big update out. Ooh, we got some jewelry. Nice. Sorry about that. I was distracted by the loot that we got. But yeah, sometimes that happens. Really unfortunate. Could always be a good moment to just um, start over, of course. But it's always nicer if things just work out fine. Are they already building the bridge? Yes, so let's hope this bridge works, because they just have to get across, it's close by, so there should be no issue. So probably the bridge is the issue. It is, although stained glass is, is one of the things you'll probably won't get too early to. I think you should try and get Things like a monastery and a herb garden and stuff like that first. No access to a service. Is the church full again? Yeah, I think so. We need an extra church again. Or do we need to expand this one? We can expand this one, maybe. Although it's a bit close to the monastery. I don't want to ruin that. This one is very big. That's really nice. Here we have a big village without a church. Let's build an extra church. Alright, let's see. Um, not going to build it in this direction. I think we should build it right here. 
Ooh, the market build. I'm going... Yeah, there's the bad weather we were afraid of, but that's fine. Let's sell some common wares. Not building it yet, but we'll get it soon. Now, let's go here and let's build a little church. Problem with these churches is that you're only limited in how much we can build, so this probably won't be the fanciest looking church, but we just need it so that people can go to service. Which is quite important, of course, as you can imagine, to keep everybody happy. So we're just going to build a pretty standard church this time. I think. Because we've already tried quite a few differences. Different ones. Alright, let's raise... No, this is good. Any new... Yeah, let's just build a tower. A big one. And it needs a door, of course. There's only one door. We'll put it on the side this time. Well, this at least should help out with the um, surface problem. Can't wait until it's done. And... Ooh, market tender, yeah. Alright, we have the market tender now. So we can sell common wares, we just don't have any. Deliver 30 berries to the kingdom. Well, we did that. Now let's see. Um, our soldiers. Yeah, only one is wounded again. So that medicinal garden really works well. How's the keep doing? Oh, the side buildings are done. Only the two towers need to be built now. Well, that's going to take some time. This is almost done. Perfect. I think we should start working on the... Um, production buildings already. We can just place them already so that they can build them. Let's just build a vineyard. And I think we should get two. So we'll place one and one here, I think. So we can place two vineyard fields next to it. And then we need a winery, of course. It produces wine in exchange for grapes and a barrel. So we also need a cooper to make some barrels for us. We'll place this close to the monastery as well, so right here. Alright, let's build this one and start setting that up. Then we also need the... Um, Cooperage, where is it? Not sure. It's just a town. Alright, let's find some are just listed in here, so we'll have to find it here. The iron smelter, the blacks the cooperage. Produces one barrel in exchange for four planks, one iron and one tool. Alright. Well, I think we should put that up here. And then we need to build a warehouse, of course. For the uh, barrels and stuff, and I think a granary for the wine. Let's build the granary all the way up here. And a warehouse as well. And then we should set up wine production. That's nice. I like that. No buildings finished yet, so we'll have to wait a bit. But we'll get there. Look at this, they're really smelting the iron. That's really cool. I really do like the graphics there. Although I think this is a bit hot if you're just standing over it, but yeah. I like it. Although, at first glance, these graphics are some, some, sometimes a little bit childish, but... Right, they seem to be childish, but they're not. I think they're really good graphics. It's, everything is just simple, but it, it totally works. I enjoy it a lot. Alright, all soldiers fully trained and ready to go. Alright, a difficult mission. Yes, we'll go on a difficult mission. No, because we are already on a mission. Let's prepare the troops. Still waiting for the select all button. Send out the troops. There they go. Let's bring in a good price again. Really like that. Monastery looking very good. Uh, we'll just build another builder's hut somewhere here. It'll provide a few more jobs and a few of those buildings will go faster. 68%, 86%, that's okay, just not good enough. 
I always like to keep it at least above 90 and, and usually around like 95. Ooh, there goes the soldiers. Look at them walking. Bye bye. You should be able to spot the difference between a soldier and a knight. Yeah, you can see it. Some have spears, some have swords. Really nice. They're off to um, protect the honor of the kingdom. Ah, we got two extra villagers in, so that worked out. Look at these grain fields. Oh, that's nice. No access to comfort. You'll get some comfort soon. Just build a house. Don't worry about it. 28 gems, 200 marble we can put to use at a certain point. We have five spears again that we have to put to use. Have some quartz. Three wine, but that's because we stole them in uh, as, as loot, not um, because we created them already. Things look good. Things look good. And this bridge is getting along nicely. I think I should prioritize it. Because I want it done and see if they can get across then. Only four more pieces to be done, so that's good. And because of the good wood production that we have, we are using a lot of planks. But we never run out. Well, that's true, but I also put it on speed 3 and that really makes a difference. But it's going pretty fast now. Yeah, it is. Usually this game, when everything is running smoothly, you can do speed 3, but all of a sudden things will just go bad and we'll have to slow down a bit. I think we should build a small church here as well. But I want to do the old church, this one. I like it. I want a little rustic church here. Ooh, I have an idea. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but we're going to try it. I'm going to build a big tower in the middle. And then we'll put these around. Just like this. Oh yeah, this is one crazy looking church. I like it. So, here we have a church. Can I... Yeah, I can move the whole piece up. Perfect. I think we should rotate it a bit so that it stands well. It needs a door, of course. I'll put the door in this side. Ooh, keep my troops with you. That's fine. Alright, I think the tower needs to be a little bit bigger so it stands out a bit more. But yeah, this should be the church. Interesting, interesting. I like the way it looks. Can't wait for it to be done. A monk is requesting an audience. Alright, what do you want? Some wood for the kingdom. Alright, we'll give it to the clergy then, since you're a monk. Let's deliver it. We should have 50 wood, so that shouldn't be a problem. I just can't deliver it, probably. Alright, promotions available. I really want to see if I can promote a soldier. Ooh, we can promote a lot of soldiers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All of them, so they are all no longer novices. They're all soldiers. That's nice. Alright, we have 15 citizens. I want five more. So, one, two, three, four, five. That's nice. Then five more commoners. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll keep the rest like this for now. Oh, we can do like 15 more of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's it. Okay, that worked out. Now they'll have to build a few more houses again, but that's fine. Well, I'm glad you're getting some extra ideas. I... I really like watching some streams and, and photographs of other villages as well, just to get ideas. And, well, the whole thing with this game is, is for a bit that you just play around. So, I've never built a church like the one we're going to build here. I just thought of it and thought, well, let's try if we can make a, Brit make a, a church like that. And all of a sudden it worked. So, and I really like that about this game. It gives you a lot of freedom to move things around, to squeeze things in, and then you all of a sudden have a whole new building. 
That's just nice. Ah, they're still building this church as well. So more and more people can attend the service. The bridge is almost done. Two more pieces need to be finished and then it's done. Well, that's interesting. You can just hammer there and the bridge is getting finished right here. You must be one good carpenter. Ooh, the commonware shop is going to function now. We have tools, we have wood, we have iron, so we can start to produce some common wares now. And hopefully get some people their um, much-needed luxury goods. See, some have no access to luxury. This should help them out. Really curious to see. Alright, here comes the last piece of the bridge. Please finish it and don't go away before it's done. Yeah, she's gone. She's gone. And uh, Reknild is now coming. I really want to see if the village gets finished now. we got one extra villager in. That's okay. And then hopefully the vineyard will be done soon. So if any of you have any ideas about what to stream next week, please feel free to let me know. I haven't decided yet. This might well be the last with the foundation because I think it's time for another uh, game. But if you think, oh no, continue with this, please let me know. And if you have a good suggestion for another game, always feel free to let me know as well. Alright, the bridge is done. Can they now get across? I hope so. We'll have to wait and see though, but... Well, we'll come back in a minute and see if people are getting across to build these. Access to service. I know, I know that you have no access to service. That's why I'm building two churches. One here and one on the other side. Although this is going to take some time because we're just building too many things. So one good tip. Don't do it like me and build like ten buildings at the same time. Because that's just too much. Two point hospital. Oh, well, we could do that. I guess I guess we'll play a free game then, so that we can just set up our all our own hospital with quite a few limitations, so that we have to research everything and stuff like that, so that it's a bit of a challenge. And not too much money, of course. That could be a thing. I think that's a good idea. I would like that. But just keep the ideas coming. And then um, I'll have a whole week to decide, of course, so... So one of you asked the last stream, and was it Saturday, I believe, or Sunday, one of the two, um, how I was doing with subscribers, and um, I was explaining that it just, there's no real saying how it actually works, so some days I get none, some days I get a few, some day somebody goes away, that stuff. And as after we talked about it to now, I had like eight or nine new subscribers all of a sudden. So uh, I had three last day, two the day before, and then the days before that I had none. So I think it really depends on the YouTube algorithm and how that just produces and works. Because if they suggest it to the right people, then I might get new subscribers, other otherwise not. So the last few days have been really good. And a few days before that I had almost no new subscribers. So yeah, interesting to see because we were talking about it and now the days after... I get a few extra subscribers. That's really nice. All right, we have two assigned to the winter and two to the vine grower assigned. So that's nice. Still building there. All right, we have to paint crop fields, of course, for the vineyard. Let's see. This is this one, so we should paint it right here and maybe a bit here. So something like this. And I think this one isn't done yet. Yeah, this vineyard's still being built. But yeah, this one now has a crop field already. So it should be able to go work there, I think. We'll find out soon enough, as soon as a monk... Uh, yeah, this is also still being built. All right, that's the case. Yeah, I've been thinking about that too. Um, I think we're, what we're doing right now, we are, we are actually 
building this monastery now. There's a lot of extra stuff that we can do here. I saw a gathering hut being built. I think they finally got across the um, river. I'm going totally the wrong way. So I'm sorry, I'm a bit distracted, but I want to check this out. Yeah, so this bridge is working. They finally got that, so that's good. We can assign people there. One, two, three, one. All right, that's it. But yeah, I can do one or two more streams with this, I think, easily, and, and just make sure that we get more and more productions up. We have plenty of money anyway, so we can get more productions. Production change, we can start to produce some jewelry and stuff. But the thing is, I, I enjoy everything, so I can just play this game for like two, three more streams and have a lot of fun with it. I can uh, play new games and have a lot of fun with it, but I'm also trying to... F it's a bit of a balance, of course, because I have to do what I like, what I'm doing anyway. Um, but I also would like to take in consideration what you guys want to see or enjoy. You, it, it's also fine if you say, well, do like one or two streams with um, a different game and then come back to this so that we can see it develop. But um, if we do four streams, of course, of foundation, that means that we do stream foundation for a whole month. And that could be a bit long, maybe, for some other people. So I, I'm a bit looking for what works best and, and what... I enjoy it anyway, doesn't really matter which game I'm playing, just being here and talking to you guys is awesome for me. This one is not really being built by the way, let's prioritize it a bit because I want it done. So I'm I'm having a good time anyway, alright let's put in grapes and wine. Gathering hut is done. So yeah, I'm, I'm searching a bit for what's not just fun for me, because I enjoy this anyway, but what's also fun for you guys to watch. I I think if somebody is um, a fan of the channel, but doesn't necessarily like this game, then maybe it's not so much fun that I do only this game for like a whole month. So that's why I was thinking maybe we should do few different games as well so maybe next week we do like the hospital game and the week after that I get back to uh, to this or, or, or after two weeks or that could be a thing all right we should set some barrels in here and I think we also need to store some common ware so that let's do that as well so that they can pick it up here so now we have storages that's nice do we already have some we have some barrels already that's good do we already have some common wares? Yeah, we also have common wares already, so that's working out. Very nice. Promotions available again. I'm not going to... Ooh. This is a special moment, because we can uh, promote soldiers. So I think one of them now should be a knight. Five soldiers are required per knight, so I think... Yeah. We have one knight now, which is really strong. But we now we need more soldiers before we can get another knight. A message from the king. Your army is stronger. We will offer you more some more challenging missions. Alright, that's okay. So I'll give it some more thought. But yeah, I think the option to... Um, Right, paint a crop field, we already did. Paint a crop field with this one. Yeah, so let's paint a crop field with this one as well, so it can start to grow some wine grapes as well. Yeah, there they are. Perfect. So that's working out. Although we have no monks here, so we should concede a few more monks to the monastery, I guess. One, two, three. Alright, these are all in full production now. So as soon as the first grapes come out, we can start to produce some wine. That's nice. So we have big wine fields here. Cool, I like it. But yeah, I'll work out a plan and see um, see what I can do with it. But then let's just switch games around a bit in streaming and not forget about foundation. Of course, we'll get back to it. And maybe we can also change the day sometimes. So right now I'm streaming on um, Wednesday and sometimes in the weekend. And maybe I can do one of the 
next foundation streams on the on one of the weekend streams that could also be a thing all right i think we should expand the keep this is almost done and this is only a start of a keep of course all right let's work a bit on the exterior this is the outside so people come into the village and this is what they see so i think there should be like banners in front of the um place here I mean, we should give our little castle a little bit grandeur. I don't want to put in too many banners, but two should be good. So that when people come up come up here, they see that this is my castle. Then, I think we need to widen this a little. So that we have room for some inner workings. We build a porch here, I think so, but we'll do that later on. Um, I think we should get around the corner here with a certain building. Maybe maybe should make the corner piece out of stone. Some sort of stone tower like this. Yeah. We'll give it a little bit of a castle feel, maybe. Can we put a roof on it? No. Alright, so we can't put a roof on this. Hmm. Wish I could. Then we'll have to build this one again, but those are a bit too big. Maybe another time. But now that we have this... Is it in the right spot? Yes. We can maybe go with this. No, this is the big one. I, there's a smaller one, I believe. Yeah. Alright, so these are smaller extensions, but I think they're nice. So if we put this in here and raise them a bit. Ah, better days are coming. So the rain is going away again. All right, small extension and extension. Oh, that's the bigger one. Let's do the bigger one. Set it up like this. One, two, three, four. All right, let's raise them a bit. I think that's good. And then we can make some sort of an encampment in here. So this is a small camp building. So let's place it here. Let's put some weapon racks in here. Where they can get some weapons. And um, there should be a small porch. Maybe for some animals or something like that. Alright, so this is a start. Of course, we need some training dummies next to the camp and the um, soldiers here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, this is the start of the next expansion of the keep. So, let's keep it like this. Let's keep it like this. Alright, that works. Sorry, just trying to be funny when I'm not. Let's see how this works out with the keep, and then we can make it bigger and close it off, and then we'll have a big fortress at the entrance of our town. And that should really raise the points that we have with the kingdom. Oh, it already did. That's nice. So now we can get an extra trade bonus here and here. Glad we could unlock those trade bonuses. All we need now is ten monks, and we can get a candle workshop and a monk statue. Nice. Then we have unlocked everything. Yeah, it does start to look a bit military. Not totally pleased with it, but um, it, it's slowly getting there. We'll see, we'll see. I'm really curious. Ooh, yeah, look at this. These vineyards are looking really cool. You can actually see these little grapes hanging there. Oh, this is nice. And we are starting to produce some wine. That's nice. Do we have some? 20 wine already. So now there's wine and beer. Everybody should be happy. Yeah, that's working out. And this is completely surrounded now. Problem is, of course, with the landscaping that it looks a bit weird on this side. But I think this side looks really nice. Oops. Should get a little bit more inside. There it is. Alright, we are in the monastery right now. You can see... A monk walking in here as well. There they go. Look at that. I like it. They're still building the tower. Oh, we can even look inside. Look at this. Wow. This is an amazing shot. 
I have to make a print screen of this. Alright, that should have worked. Ooh, there goes a monk. Really cool. Look at that. Just saw a monk walk through here. Oh, I like it. Alright, let's get out again. So that's another thing. You can really get inside things. So if you play this game, let's try it out for yourself. It's amazing. Two free people. Let's give them a job. Like two more transporters. Alright, 350 people in the village now. All these numbers are pretty stable, so I'm not concerned we're going to run out anything. This church is being built further and further. We can see they can house quite a few people. And we can see happiness is up to 92% again, so that's a really good number. Got two people in. Let's make them foragers. The monastery is built. Alright, so this is all done now. And we have the vineyard, so let's expand it and get to the apiary. Which is honey and wax. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it needs to be close to a few trees, but I don't know. Let's just place them right here. We'll build, um, I don't know, three because we want a lot of bees in there. Can I already see how many people we need for it? No. We have eight monks already. They all have a job. Can't see yet how many need to be in there. All right. Well, then we're going to have some honey as well. And some beeswax. Let's check luxury goods. Candle shop. Produces two candles in exchange for two wax, one iron and one tools. Well, we have iron and tools, I believe. Yeah, we have iron, we have tools. So let's get the candle workshop. I think we should put that near the um, monastery as well. Near the beeswax. So let's just place it down right there. Let's build it. Cool. We'll have a really productive monastery now. That'll be awesome. Missing some raw materials. Just get some new. What are you missing? Plenty of coal. Oh, we are a little low on iron ore. I think we are using up quite a lot now, so maybe we should just get a new mine. We get new people in all the time anyway, so... Let's not worry about it. Let's hang up a few cranes. Let's get the um, resource crane in place. Let's put a few carts around it. Just because it looks nice. So this is a really abundant mine, so we'll have three carts there. There they go. Well, interesting looking town. I think it's a good thing for the town that you guys are a little bit quiet in the chat because now I have time to build the game. Last time I was doing so much talking to all of you that I forgot a bit about playing the game. Now I have time for it. Although I really do talk to each and every one, enjoy talking to each and every one of you, so that's the thing. Well, here comes the keep. Training dummies are ready. I think we should set some buildings here as well to be dorms. Otherwise, there won't be soldiers in here. They will all go to the other keep, I think. Alright, this is be a dorm. And another dorm. And another dorm. And then we'll make the rest um, treasuries, I guess, so we can house more gold. Uh, ooh, church build. Ah, this one is done. Alright, this church is done. Pretty standard church. Nothing special there. The rustic church is done. Look at it. Here it is. Our little cross church. Look at it from above and look at it from this. I like this. I like this design. Totally new to me, but it's... I like it. Hi, Alphabet Soup! Thanks! How are you today? Already missed you. Glad you're here. Hope you had a great day. I know I had a great day. And a wonderful stream. We were having lots of fun, lots of talking. Um, doing 
doing some sparring with good ideas for future streams. Really nice. Love all the support I'm getting from all of you all the time. Ooh, we only have one tool, so we're not going to spare any tools. I think we need to up the two production. Yeah, that could be the case. Well, at least, at least, what I think what I'm going to do is um, next week we're going to play a different game. Maybe do like one or two streams with that. Then we'll get back to this. That will also give me some extra time to um, check what I really want to build um, further in this game so that I can prepare a little bit. And then we'll do at least one more stream with this in like three or four weeks to get things up like jewelry production. And, and maybe at the end of that stream we can decide if, if we really did like 95% of what we can do or we'll have to do one more stream again. We'll see. We'll see. I, I do believe we, we already covered quite a bit of it. Alright, let's see. Just a second. Beekeeper assigned. Yeah, so we need beekeepers. So we need to get some extra monks in. Yeah, we're all well. How are you doing? Bailiff ready for a mandate. You can go. Military mission available. Are my soldiers back already? Oh, they're all back and fully trained. And I believe we have some extra spears. Yeah. Let's give them all the spear because then they'll be stronger. Do they all have a spear now? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we still have ten soldiers. So that's working. I'll prepare my troops right away. There they all go. Let's send the troops. So yeah, there'll be at least one more stream and then we'll see. Alright, so we had a certain point where we were just thinking, I don't have enough jobs to provide for everyone. And now we're still at a point where I have plenty of jobs. Just need more people in. Interesting. And they're still working on this piece, but it works. Look at this. Really cool. I really like the little encampment. That's really cool. And did they hang the banners up yet? No, no banners yet. Well, interesting. Ooh, there goes the soldier. Ooh, we can see our knight. It's in red. All right, let's go here so we can take a closer look to our knight. There they come. All right, speed one. Let's see our proud soldiers marching. There's our knight. In shining armor. She's leading them all. Good luck, guys. Proud of all of you. Alright, so I'm trying to send two extra... F yeah, so you can see right now, we have two available villages, but I can't concede any to the monastery, so there'll be women. So let's put them in the transporting business then. Hopefully we'll get a few men in soon so that we can get those bees going. Here we have the common workshop. Alright, so I was thinking we need some extra tools as well. And since we have enough iron, all we need to build is another tool maker. Blacksmith. Yeah, there it is. Let's just build another blacksmith, get some extra tools. I'm going to prioritize this one because I really want the extra tools. And we, well, we need 20 now. Let's see, are we still trading for tools? Once straight routes are set up, you don't really have to look at them anymore. Yeah, we are still trading for tools. I'm going to put this up to 50. So that we buy some extra tools when we need to. The rest is all fine. We can even sell some berries because we have plenty. That will make us some extra money. Is there anybody that will buy fish? Yeah, this one will buy fish. We have so much fish. Fish. Let's sell some fish all above 250. Alright. That should make us even more money. Access to luxury. Yeah, I think we need to expand this little market again. And put in like one or two stalls for some luxury goods. We can place one here. Place one here. Alright. 
Let's build them first and see what we can put in them. They need to add horses for the knights. Yeah, that's really true. That's really true. Oh, and then you could add joust where the knights... Yeah, I would like... I would really love things like that. So that you can build like a little jousting arena where they can all have fun. And I, I do like horses in this game anyway, in some way. So maybe if you can just build horses and they can help transport stuff around or whatever, I would really be into that. Well, luckily in medieval times, they didn't have horses with parts falling off, falling off, so... Keep my troops with you. Yeah, that's no problem. I shouldn't be too... Yeah, just one wounded. That's fine. Iron deposit built. Perfect. Yeah, we can add extra iron. And that should really help out. We have plenty of coal still, so that's no issue. We already have 165 wine. Oh, that's pretty fast. True, yeah, they already have that horse, yeah. Well, we'll see. I expect a pretty big update in, in two months or something like that. So we'll see what they add then. Ooh, here comes the keep. I think this is a pretty impressive entrance if you come and visit this town and you have to get in with this I, th I would be impressed maybe maybe we should build a little wall here as well let's see how it looks if I build a stone wall here alright tell me does this look nice if we build like a little bit of a stone wall around town or I'm not a bit big fan of this one I have to say I'm not sure. Doesn't really work for me. I think we can build a little hatch around the church stone. Maybe that would look nice if we do something like this. That's one of the things we can do. Get some extra decorations. I think I do like this. A little hatch around the church. I don't really like that wall around it, so I'm not going to do that. Yeah, part of the town in the city center. We can, but that's it's such a big area, the city center. I mean, this is where we started. This is where the big cathedral is. Charge, yeah, let's charge. That's fine. Could try and build some sort of a wall around this whole area, but let me see. If we build a wall around town, it should probably go here. Then keep the farms out, because farms usually weren't inside the city wall, so the wall has to go here. Then we can go maybe past this. I'm not sure. It's a bit hard. I am thinking about the hatch now, though. I think we should build a little hatch like this. Yeah, just to get this area off a bit more. So that it's really like a garden for the Lord Manor. Alright, something like this. Yeah, this works for me. Alright. What we could do... Is get a big wall. Maybe this one or this one. Something up like this and then towards the keep. So that this whole area is shielded off. But we also need a gate in there, I think. I think a gate would be great too. Maybe. How big is this low stone wall? This is not too big, actually. Right. right. 
that the part is gone. Maybe we can do something, some pieces where we build it alongside the road. So for instance here, I don't really want to build a city wall here because I don't think it feels accurate. But we can make a few places where we just build a little stone. Ooh, no, I didn't want to move this one. Let's get this one. So if we build it like somewhere here along the road, like this. And then the same on this side, and then you get something like an area where you have... And maybe we can do that in more parts around the town. A hedge maze could also be fun, but that could be like a little attraction that we build in an open spot. And I think I'm going to save that for next time anyway, because I'm not going to do that right now. All right, let's get the candle maker going. We want the extra miners and we want the market tender. Let's see, luxury goods. We can sell some jewelry and some honey as soon as we start to produce it. And then we'll be selling some luxury goods that the people need because some of them are complaining they don't have any luxury. So we can also do something with the roads like this and maybe in some pieces do a little hedgerow around it. I'm not sure what to do with the city wall. We could use the keep for it. So we could do something like this. We need to build an, a little gate here. I think I want to keep the granary out as well. Yeah, we'll build the gate here so the granary is safe within. We build a gate um, here as well. And then we connect these. So just something like this. And this way we can set up a sort of a system of defense. So for instance we can go like this. Then we build a gate here as well so that they can get outside. Yeah, let's build it. And then connect this piece all the way to this stone piece. And maybe we should do a stone area then. Oh, we have to continue from here, I guess. No, we can't. Hmm. So we can't really continue from this. Oh, we can do it like this. Something like this. So this should fence this area off a bit. And if we then continue here towards the keep... Something like this. Now we have a little shielded off area with the production outside. And the rest is inside. Maybe we can play around a bit and try and get everything up around some parts of the town. I have to do a little bit of thinking about this, but I think I like this. To, to try something like this. In different parts of town. It'll be cool. I really don't like this wall, though. Look at how big it is. It's like a big castle. It doesn't really... It feels a bit too big, but that's just my opinion at this point. Maybe later on we can do something nice with it. Alright, let's go to the keep, because I think, yeah, it is one mighty fine keep. Although I don't really like the stone parts in there, but, well, they are there now, so I'm not going to tear them down. And I think if we close this off as well, make a little box, and then with another exit here, with an entrance, then you really have a walking path there. Hmm, could be nice. Could be nice. keep is too big. Yeah, I was thinking that a little bit too. Maybe we should do just this part on this side as well and then leave it like that. So it's some sort of a big castle and that's it. If we close it off, it might be a bit too big. Too big a fortress, even bigger than the church. I don't, 
I don't like that. Yeah, we still need wax. Ah, oh, we got extra villagers, so let's concede a few to the uh, monastery. One, two, three, four. Now oh, that's it. And one more can be a market tender. All right, so we should get some bees now. Bee wax now. Could be a lot of bees zooming around. Let's take a look. Are there bees here already? I don't think so. I don't believe we have to assign something for the bees. Doesn't really give you any info that it needs to be close to a forest or something like that. I guess the new monks will first... Ah, there they come. Those are probably the new monks. They're the beekeepers. So they'll get to the beehive soon. Here they come. They should exit here, probably. Yep, there they come. Alright, there they go. Oh, you can see the bees now. So now they should be producing some honey and wax that we can use. Really nice, look at this. Really cool graphics. They have these little smoke canisters and then do the work that... They yeah, we got the first honey. Alright, that works. Happy with it. Let's keep them going. Let's take a good look to our town. It's pretty big now. We started off here. We're already all the way up here and here. Some parts here. Pretty big town. Yeah, let's take this overview shot. Really nice. Alright, so... We got quite far, we did quite a lot. I have to think about the decorations and the city walling and building walls around the roads, of course. I have to think about what to do next stream and when precisely we will be doing that one. So that takes a little bit of thinking. Um, and I think I'm going to end this stream soon because, well, initially when I started streaming I thought I'd do like one and a half hour streams. Usually now I do two hours, which is completely fine because I have a lot of fun. But tomorrow I have to uh, arrange... Um, things for a funeral and I have to do three funerals on Friday which is a really crazy busy day I have to rush from one place to another um, so that's really busy um, and my wife's coming home from work in like 10 minutes so I'm going to spend some time with her as well and then of course I hope to be here on Sunday I won't be here on Saturday because my little brother has his bachelor party that I have to attend to. Um, so I'll go there. Of course. So thank you all very much for watching. Thank you guys for all your fun things. For all the fun chats that we have. For all the things that we can talk about. For all the feedback I'm getting from you guys. That's really amazing. Thanks for all the other kinds of support. Just nice words. Just being here. All the um, uh, subscri subscribers that I'm getting. Really nice. And, um, well, of course, a lot of thanks to AJ for his uh, financial contributions this time. It's really appreciated, and I'll put it to good use. Um, I wish you all the best, of course. I hope you all have a nice evening or day or whatever time it is at your place right now. Um, it's 10 p.m. here, so bedtime soon. Thank you guys so much, and I hope to see you in another video and, of course, in another stream and talk to you guys again. It has been great. Bye-bye all. Take care.